This is the second cut of a video I've been wanting to make. It is on the Ender 3's power supply. Now, if you've opened one of these up before, you'll notice that I have uh, four more power, um, four more uh, of the plugs plugged in. So the first three are 24 volt positive, and the next three, so these three are positive, and then the next three are negative. And so what you can do is rather than just using a single one of those, you can use all three. And so I have one of those, one of the, uh, the power lines running to my lights, one of them running to my MOSFET from a heat bed, and then the last one is running to my... That way the power is separated. It's not just going on one, uh, it's not just going on one single port. It's, it's running across all three. Um, now, I've heard with 24 volt systems, you're, you don't have to be as worried about that. But, um, but still, this, it makes me feel a little bit better that they're all three separated. Now, the last thing you'll notice is that some of them, I'm not using the normal prongs. What I've done is I've wrapped the wire in a hook. But what you can't see is that I've also added solder. Um, so then where that's, uh, it's compressed in there and it's in a hook and it's not, uh, it's not going to be moving. The issue that you run into with these, uh, power supplies is if there isn't a good connection. So say this is, uh, let's pretend that this is a wire that, that we're using in our system. If you just go and you twist it together like that, it'll work, sure. But if you'll notice, it can wiggle. And as it wiggles, it gets a little bit more and more apart. And eventually, eventually that'll spark and cause a fire. That's why those, uh, those uh, Creality um, Ender 3 uh, XT60 connectors, that's why those are messing up is because of that. So then we go and we solder this. So then place some flux on there. and add some solder and that's even with this bad twist I could have done a lot better on the twist um, even with that it's now a whole lot better and this is a connector that I would trust um, I mean I wouldn't I would put heat ring and stuff like that on it and it'd be twisted better uh, I'm gonna snip this off and throw it away but uh, just a point that being able to solder um, is a really good skill for this hobby and is something that I think that um, that really everyone should learn in this hobby is how to solder because if they if you go and you tell, tell yourself oh I'm not going to do that project because I need a solder then that's a problem. Now as to a specific soldering iron you want to get something that's temperature controlled. Um, I have the uh, Xtronic model 3020 and that is linked down in the description. Um, as for solder, use the stuff with the lead in it and wash your hands. Um, you can buy these helping hands and then put them, two of them together. Um, if, they, if enough people want to see how I did this, I can show you, but it's really simple. You take them apart, put them together. Um, but the great thing about having a temperature control power supply, and this is me ranting, um, if you have a temperature control power supply, you can put it all the way up in the max temp, solder some big wires together, or you could keep it low in the 200 degree C range and uh, use it to weld uh, 3D printed parts. And so if you have, uh, like the, the Xtronic, I think is like 40 or $50, uh, completely worth it. If you have something like that, you're not worrying, you know, you're not flipping the switch on this like, Radio Shack special $19 soldering iron that always goes, you, you don't really know what temperature it goes up to, you know, probably 300 degrees C, 350, 400. Um, but uh, yeah, get something temperature controlled and it might cost, it might cost a little bit extra money, but is uh, completely worth it. And uh, yeah, they're linked down in the description below, but that's, that's far afield of what I was going on with this. But, uh, but yeah, um, if you've got, if you've got a MOSFET and if you've um, got lights and stuff like that, Separate out the power so that um, so that you're not putting as much load on just one set of wires.